but Orkane and Cry can still play pretty much the same game. Overall, just Orkane on the uh, on their side, just zoning with bubbles and everything. Mm -hmm. Crag with the pillar doesn't really care as much about the mage as uh, some other characters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not too surprised that the remains of these characters would. They're really full F strong, by the way. Yeah. Just wanna let you know, quadruple F strong. Yeah, just, just a fifth. Oh, the legs without F four. He did five in a row. That's what I said before. You can't really describe Gunsy's playstyle until you see it for yourself. I mean, that's what makes him unpredictable to uh, to be fair right if that you don't know what he's doing how do you know yeah it's like you, you gotta be ready for anything but how can you be ready for anything when you're against a crag who can just put 20 percent on you for, for kind of free yeah he's got some uh some big buttons for sure and obviously it's unlocked the kind of figure what he can do uh still alive though but taking a lot of percent of speed from the start yeah getting caught by the up tilt here almost gets caught by the rocker but the big thing as well is that obviously Longo is going to try and want to challenge Shrek on the pillar as much as possible. But uh, again, Guthix is very unorthodox with his pillar usage. Just not afraid to use it on stage whatsoever. Yeah, he'll he'll break up the flow of the game easily. Okay, he's going to recover quite low. Great man from uh, Longo, but still he can survive. Yeah, still enough good for recovery to get uh, back from there. Not even sure if he had the pillar or not, but still. Now we're back into those edge guard situations, and the rock is finally going to snipe a stock in favor of Lucas. Still surviving from the sour upper as well. Puts the pillar up high, why not? Yeah, so falls to that backer. That backer is a great move, but not enough to beat the down smash of Volcane very quickly as well. Now we got a little bit of fair action coming in from Guthix. Fair is a, a very nice uh, through it all tool on mm -hmm. Crag overall. Like, it's got good range, it do, it's got kill power, like, it, it does everything. It's very it, easily it hit all ball. It does everything. Yeah, let's get the fair though, can't find it. Now Longo can set up the puddle. Yep, the jabs as well with the F top pushing him far away. How do you beat that? Ooh! Yeah, he doesn't have filler, I don't think. Yeah. Had air dodge though. As long as he's got air dodge, you're safe. Yeah. Thank goodness for the air dodge. And the F strong in neutral. Because why not, why not again? Why not? Yeah, we Are you ready? Really... He's very nice. No, you haven't. Yeah. What? what? No, good fix. Oh! oh. Trying to put on pressure on this shot. Again. With the RBs just in the middle of the stage. You know, a lot of pressure and the down B here. Not gonna be quite enough to kill because Longo had the pot already in order to teleport back to it safely, but still. You gotta win something. The grab trying to, again to go for those F strongs with the jab bye check. Bye. Very good jab check from Longo here. Making sure to not get stunned. And now we've got the, uh, the bubble pressure. Okay, short action. And do on that shield. Working oh. over fighting the rock is always an interesting one. Okay, we're trying to go for the F tilt. Working obviously trying to get the flow of the game with the back here, the bubble bot. It's a lot of momentum. But here's Guthix coming in with the down throw into up air and sealing that stock away. And that's gonna be the first game to Guthix. The chapter just peace. All right, down to calm for yeah. a little bit, I guess. But yeah, obviously, need a little bit of time to process what what just happened on Longo's side. Like, I feel like you want to take it a little bit slower against the Crag, just because Good Fix has been pressing on buttons so much during that first game. Still, it was a close game, nonetheless.
Right now, what, what, is, what it's looking like is Longo really trying to just catch Guthix at any opportunity. And again, Guthix with those F-Strongs in neutral. I am... <laughs> I am shocked, honestly, that it works so well to an extent and that he's not really getting punished for it too much. Get a little bit of down the action. Gets the grab. Gets the shards. Not gonna be quite enough to kill. And Longo is able to just make it back onto the stage pretty safely. Gets a DP. The roll Longo. Just taking back over ownership of that stage. Guthix forced to use Pillar very far away from the stage. But Longo not really contesting it. Still, we're gonna go for some up air action here on Longo's side. And yeah, trying to actually get that high pillar. There's down there and up into up air. Of course, that's going to kill from Guthix. Again, Guthix just being very, very proactive with his offense right now. Okay, my bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> No worries, it happens. <laughs> uh, so got to take the first game, and he's well on his way to the second one. He's the second F strong again, by the way. He, 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 loves, he just loves that F strong. He, he really <laughs> does. <laughs> he loves that F strong. Any opportunity that he has to land it, he is going to try and land it. I down B as well. He's been using yeah. down aerial down B a lot. Why don't you go for those spikes? Then? Yeah, he really wants to spike. I think a big thing about Guthix is, even though I said it's hard to read his playstyle, uh, he just loves reversal. He, he wants loves the swag. reversal. Yeah, he just wants to kill you off the hit as fast as possible. Yeah. It's like he wants the speed run. <laughs> yeah, Guthix has no time to give you. Yeah, trying to go for down strong. It's going to be shielded, but we're finally going to be able to parry the dash attack here. Again, Goofix tried to go for some uh, some interesting parries as well. Ooh, okay, I like that. Two star back here. Can't get the final hit. Unfortunately, and now goes for the special guard. Has rocket hand. Ooh. Gotta be careful when you got rocket hand. There's really nothing you can do. Yeah, stance change. Yeah. Right now, what I'm noticing is that Longo is really struggling to just get in the range necessary to actually hit the crag. Like. You'd think Orkane would have no trouble at all with uh, with the strongs actually getting into frag, uh, the kill range for the frag, and oh my god, the F-strong once again! <laughs> <laughs> he hits so many of those. Always, always the F-strong. <laughs> I think at this point we are going to need a uh, F-strong counter on Goofy's side. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think I think it, it should be his thing. He just lands so many, um, and I think it's because of the slow, real, real slow start. So obviously, people immediately spot that. Like, that's your initial reaction is to spot one against those type of attacks. But with the lean back and the slow animation, it really does catch a lot of people. You, you just kind of have to delay your reaction. That's the hardest part, honestly. Yeah, delaying your reaction is like the hardest thing you can do in uh, a fighting game. I feel like. Because again, it's your reaction. You just want to press the button. <laughs> okay, to the side B. Yeah, I like that. Reversing it, so you can't exactly get the right timing to parry it. You catch it in your guard. Yep, the Mongo is going to be on a triple up air train, trying to go for a quadruple, but just a little bit out of reach here. A little bit of back air action. And yeah, this is exactly what we're saying. Challenge the crag on his pillar yeah, at all times. Follow him. Have to follow him. But be reversing the way back down on stage. Guthix is gonna find the zigzag and get him to confirm it. Catch him yeah. hard. I feel like Upstrong is just buffed from the fact that you can do a really wave dash in the game. Yeah. It's a really good option uh, to discover that one. For sure. Okay. Yeah, falling for the down strong. Yep. Just a lot of shield. Yep. I think that's the most patience I, I've seen from Gothics during this set. <laughs> honestly, just waiting for the down strong. 
Okay, we're gonna go very low with that pillar. And the uh, F Pro is finally going to take it for long go. But that's still 99% that needs to be taken back. Still, Rockin has, has some very good normals to actually make it back overall. Yeah, he's got a lot of ways to kind of get back to the stage. Kind of hard to get back. And obviously a percent as well. Haven't got low yet. Yeah, and again, with the bubble traps, you can rack up percentages pretty quickly, I feel, like working. But well, the F Strong again! Lord. Raw F Strong on the ledge. Why not? Why not? And you can see him going for it again, by the way. He's going for it again. He's at 30. He's not going to die from it. Come on. I think he just wants to, like, hurt the mental. Yeah. It's all about the mental game at the end of the day, you know? Because honestly, if you get hit by that many f you're thinking, oh, man. How many yeah, more? And, and it scares your opponents as well, because you're like, how many f can you land on me? <laughs> okay, but he's got to roll right into the down strong. Uh, from Longo though. Longo really trying to get some momentum back. He uses the bubble while to actually catch it with the bubbles. And the parry is finally going to secure that stock onto Gothics. Uh, no way. No, okay. no, 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 no. We're not going to get caught by that. Oh, the thing is, the F strong actually hits the ledge. So you actually have to be careful. Yeah, but I think. It's too long. Yeah, but I think it was just a little bit too far for that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Okay, we got some F tilt action. Again, trying to cover a high recovery. And the bubble bot is going to get parried, and that's going to be it. And Gofix is going to take it a full 3 0 against Longo. Damn. That was, uh, that was tough. <laughs> <laughs>